you are not able to get more money like this you cannot be going in for a study visa or a study permit in canada because this money is not enough even if you are applying for a school that a teacher so this advice that i'm going to be giving now guys to you it's going to help you a lot if you have been having decision making issues then you should watch this video till the end this video is going to be about uh, study permit to canada and visitor visa to canada now these are two different things all right like i said if you have been thinking of which one to take the reason i decided to do this video is because i have uh i had i think four one-on-one -on -one, like i spoke to four different people who booked a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me and i noticed that there is a problem of choice here what is a study permit a study permit is a permit that permits you to move into canada and study for maybe one year maybe six months one year two years three years four years or five years depending if it's a diploma a postgraduate diploma a bachelor's degree a master's degree or a phd program right now what is a visitor's visa a visitor's visa is a visa that is given to people to people especially visitors to visit canada for a maximum of six months but if these visitors choose to stay longer in canada then they have to change this visitor's visa to a work permit an enclosed work permit what i mean by an enclosed work permit is a work permit that would actually prove that they are worthy of a job what i mean here is they have the the employer who is going to employ the visitor needs to tell the canadian government that there is no canadian citizen who is available to take that job position in this case the employer is going to be given what is called the labor market impact assessment which is the lmia i have been talking about this countless time and i think this is the time to explain further now another person called me a few days back and said she already has a visitor's visa what do i think now this is my plan do you want to go for a study permit or you want to go for a visitor's visa i would say that it depends on what you want first to me if i have the possibility right i will to choose between the two i will choose a visitor's visa why am i talking like this because one i already have a lot of degrees though i don't have a phd yet but i have a master's degree and that master's degree with a bachelor's degree with my working experience can get me any job type that i want probably a job in my field all right of course yes so i would go in for a visitor's visa now for you who is just planning to move to canada who has just high school certificate who has just a bachelor's degree you may still decide and go in for the visitor's visa it just depends on you if you have a lot of working experience i would say that you can decide and choose the visitor's visa remember you are now going to be working in case you change your visa from a visitor's visa to a working permit right and maybe after one year you apply for your permanent residency and you fire in from your citizenship in other years to come so it depends on individuals for me i will choose the visitor's visa for you you will now have to decide now let me draw some points here so that you can make a decision from these points let's assume that you already have some working experience right you already know that if you want to go in using the study route or the route you need a lot of money first of all before you even apply for a university in canada you need to have at least ten thousand canadian dollars in your bank account or in your sponsor's bank account this is just for living costs you need this money all right because you need to show the officials that you have ten thousand canadian dollars for living costs now when you get admissions in a university before you will not add your tuition fee before miscellaneous before you can apply for your study permit i hope you are getting me now all this money needs to be in bulk before you know at the end of the day if your tuition fee is even more expensive let's assume that your tuition fee is like 15k up canadian dollars then you need to be showing at least 27 28 29 close to 30 000 canadian dollars in your bank account yes because you need to consider all of this together with miscellaneous and flights and make sure you have more than so that the visa official or the official assessing your documents you know that you are equally to the task
you are equal to the task all right so if you move to canada you will not suffer you will not depend on people so you need to prove that to them but let's take for example in the case when you have maybe four thousand dollars five thousand dollars six thousand seven thousand eight thousand nine thousand ten thousand eleven thousand maximum in your bank account then you don't have anybody to censor you you don't have anybody to lean on you just have your working experience maybe you just have your other things you are doing but you are not able to get more money like this you cannot be going in for a study visa or a study permit in canada because this money is not enough even if you are applying for a school that a tuition fee is ten thousand dollars this money will still not be enough therefore the only option if you have the necessary requirements all right like i explained in other videos about the visitor's visa the only option you have now is to go in for the visitor's visa again depending on you do you want to go in there and try to see if you can change your visitor's visa to a work permit? It now depends on you. But financial wise, you cannot choose the study visa because no embassy will give you the visa because your money is not enough. Now, let's assume that you already have the visitor's visa or if you have the visitor's visa and you are thinking if you should move to Canada or you should be searching for jobs because remember, you need an employer that will give you lmia all right this employer uh, uh let me say it depends if you have a work an open work permit or a closed work permit open work permit is the one that you can easily leave the job not like easily leave the job you can leave after maybe one year but a closed work permit is they have a particular period you have to work with them maybe two years before you leave the company right now if you have your visitors visa already this is my advice remember the visitor's visa is also called maybe a tourist visa or something when you were applying for the visa you said you don't have anybody in canada right yes you don't have any relative you don't have an invitation letter it's possible like that you have to explain on your letter of explanation i explain in other videos you can check them and watch now when you have your visitor's visa is it advisable for you to remain in the home country where you got your visa from and you start looking for jobs online you start applying and telling the employer that you already have a visa you 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 wait first you get a job before you move to canada no no i don't support this you know why this is something i told someone today who we, we were speaking on a one-on-one -on -one call i told her that no that idea is very bad someone was actually speaking to me a few weeks back on this same issue she has a visitor's visa but it's like she wants to apply for she's applying for jobs to see if which company will take her before she will move in i told her dear friend look you already have a visitor's visa right all you now need she was equally complaining of accommodation of course you have to pay your accommodation you have a maximum of six months to live in canada to be in the territory of canada before you can change if the six months elapses and you don't have a job you now have to exit canada before you can move in again but will you go to canada and go and be sleeping how can you go to canada then at the end of the day you return back and say you didn't have a job no 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 you have been watching this channel for long this is a channel for broke people and all broke people are powerful people now this is my advice for you if you have a visitor's visa and you are applying for jobs my very first advice for you is to look for money for your accommodation you move into canada then you start applying for jobs with the speed of light this is what you are going to do remember the job you are applying for needs to give you lmia when you apply for one job when you go in there look for a cheap accommodation 500 dollars or less all right pay for six months or pay for five months then you put your head you settle down you take some rest then you open your laptop you start applying for jobs when you apply for one job apply for two jobs let's assume that you are in, in ontario you apply for the first job you apply for the second job before you move into canada make sure you have photocopies of your working experience photocopies of your visitors visa photocopy of your educational credentials when you apply for the first job apply for the second job or in ontario remember these jobs are uh, uh, lmia specific when immediately you apply for the jobs enter a taxi or book a, a, a vehicle you go to those companies tell them that i saw this job i applied for the job 
and i am coming here to inform you that i already applied for the job because i have a visitor's visa and i need this job so badly ask for the hr and explain to them or anyone that works in that company explain to them and tell them that this is my credential i have applied already all right you show them the proof that you have applied already and give them your credentials with this method you cannot go to 40 companies or you cannot go to 50 companies and at the end of the day you don't have even one job offer no way you cannot if you do this and you don't get it you call me and change my name you cannot this is a trick a lot of people don't know you cannot have a visitor visa and you sit in africa no you sit maybe somewhere what are you doing go in there apply for the jobs buy your sim cards do the necessary documents that you need to have have a cool head then you start applying for the jobs when you apply for one two three four you take the location down you take the name of the company find the name of the company with the speed of light go there tell them you already in here you apply for the jobs and this is the proof that you apply for the jobs these are my educational credentials you give them tell them you need the job so badly all right Tell them if there is a way you can do an interview with them. This is how you do things and you learn opportunities. You don't just sit and you fold your arms like this. No, it doesn't work that way. You have to use your brain, guys. You have to use your brain. If you do like this, the employer will see that you are serious. Apply for the job. First of all, before you came to the company to inform them that you applied for the job, you would already be in Canada. Go there and tell them. When they see that you are serious, they will call you. Maybe before you are even there explaining that you applied for the job, they may even go and check if you are saying the truth. Before you know, you, you, you are working. Before you know, they change your visa for you. But maybe whereas if you were sleeping somewhere and saying they will employ you, a smart person will collect that job from your hand. Yes. So your target should be, you are trying to get the visitor's visa to move to Canada, not to collect the visitor visa and be sleeping. No. Don't you need a job? <laughs> Anyways, I just said, let me share my thoughts about this. This is something I told two people now. And they said, Milton, you are so intelligent. I didn't think about it this way. All you need to do, yes, all of them were complaining that accommodation, of course. When you are applying for the visitor's visa, the first thing at the back of your mind should be, if I'm given the visa, the hotel booking that you book to prove that when you move in there you are going to be staying in the hotel you wanted to pay the hotel with what is it not money it's money so go in there all right if you succeed and you have your visa go in there look for your accommodation immediately pay for maybe three four five months while you do the search before that five months you will not come on you will not have a job if you follow this trick, you can never lack a job. If I'm the employer and you come to me like that, I will know you are serious. I will give you the job. Yes. I will know you are serious. I will give you the job. You understand? So this is the technique a lot of people don't know. And these are before you know, smart people will collect jobs from your hand. Yes. I'm that type of person. I don't, I, I have learned a lot. So I don't waste a lot of time. There is no time to waste. All right. I just wanted to share my thoughts with you so you understand how these things work. All right. Till we meet again in another one and we keep sharing the knowledge to the next generation. Till we meet again. Bye bye.